On the show today, we're talking football as we take you inside spring ball with the flame. Plus, quarterback Malik Willis showcases his skills in a different sport. And we rank the top flames returning talent in 2021. It all starts now on this special edition of Flame Central. Welcome to a special football focused edition of Flame Central. Thank you so much for joining us alongside Rep McGivin. I'm Matt Warner. Emily Austin will join us in just a bit. Yeah, with spring ball wrapping up this weekend for Liberty Football, we thought we'd focus in on Hugh Freeze and his Flames this week. Absolutely. We'll give you an all access look inside the program in just a moment. But before we start focusing on where the Flames are headed, it's good to remember where they've been. Yes, it is. And the 2020 Liberty season was unlike anything we've ever experienced before. The 2020 season for Liberty football was all about making history. Take, for example, the 8-0 start to the season. Flames improved their school record start to 8-0. Liberty has never had a better start to a campaign. And then there was the Flames' 38-21 win over Syracuse. And going the distance, number one, Lewis to the house. It was their first ever victory against an ACC opponent. And then they went ahead and beat another one. Does it have the distance? It does! With one second remaining on the clock, Barbier puts the flames up in Blacksburg. Knocking off Virginia Tech in their own building. A wonderful day today, bro. Those wins helped catapult Liberty to another program milestone as the Flames cracked the top 25 polls for the very first time, a place LU would remain for seven weeks during the season. Then there was the grand finale, beating an old rival, top 15 undefeated Coastal Carolina in the Cure Bowl. Massimo Biscardi. Kick was blocked and Liberty's gonna win it. The Flames find a way in overtime, and Hugh Freeze celebrates. That victory made Liberty just the second program in NCAA history to win back-to-back -back bowl games in the first two full seasons of being an FBS member. All that to say, 2020 was a year Flames football fans will never forget. Well, if that doesn't get you excited for 2021, maybe this will. Throughout the football season, we brought you a series of behind-the-scenes features we call In the Fire. We want to give you a sense of what this Liberty football program is all about. And this week, we bring you a special look at spring ball on the mountain. How you start your day matters. How are you thinking when you get up in the morning? Seriously, ask yourself the question, do you like where your thoughts are taking you when you wake up in the morning? If you don't like where your thoughts are taking you when you get up in the morning, then we need to change that. How do you change it? I would suggest to you, you start changing by writing down what you have to be grateful for. There's a lot of people that don't have the opportunity to come and do what you do this morning. Oh, it's early in the morning. So what? Get over it, man. How you start the day sets the tone for the rest of it. You don't like the direction your thoughts are taking you? Let's change them. Three claps for it. Let's have a great one. Ones, ones. Crank it up, Ralph. Crank it up, Ralph. Squeeze it. Hey. Oh, sorry, Coach. You okay? No, I'm good. Thank you. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Love that cut right there. Great run right there. Scala, you ever play tailback? <laughs> you can't catch no kick, though. Can you catch a kick? No. Can you catch a punt? <laughs> All right, kickoff, maybe. Let's go, 10. Let's go, 10. Good fit, good fit. Dirty run, dirty run. Three yards, baby, I can handle that. I can handle a dirty run. Just don't get me behind the chains, man. Just keep me in front of them somehow. We might go for them fourth down if we stay ahead of them chains, we think. You think you've seen me do that a few times? 
Let's just take questions. I want to ask you first off, kind of how TJ Green's doing so far and how he's coming along here in his first spring. He's a quick learner. I uh, like his feet. Uh, I think he's got a, enough size and enough speed to, um, to improve us. And, you know, I, I'm optimistic that uh, that we've improved ourselves there. You got a touchdown yeah. there. What are you dancing for? I was, that part, the red I was too high. Was, Ooh, everything's fast. We move very fast in practice, fast pace. You can't be slow in this offense. You can't be slow on the old line. You can't be slow as a tight end. Yes, sir. Come get him, come get him. Sometimes I can't understand what he be saying. I'll just be going. Exactly what it be sounding like. Receive and then back out. But it's got to be patient. There's got to be a tempo in here to get back where you need to get to. Gotcha. I'm still learning. So anything I can do extra, make sure I know everything in this playbook. You want to get the good sale. <laughs> All right, right here. All right. Then come back. Anything I can do extra nope. to tighten up on my flaws. <laughs> you go lock in on me, lock in on three. One, two, three. But you got a 50 play scrimmage that you have the opportunity to complete practice with. That should make you feel a little different now. Okay? Can't no whistle save you or them. There ought to be two takeaways that come out of this room. Whether that's a punch out and a forced fumble, whether that's a pick, it ought to be two takeaways that come out of this room, out of the 50 play scrimmage, out of eight guys in this room. Biggest thing for us perimeter and the biggest thing today is just understanding how to make sure that we engage, disengage the block. I got to stay there so that now the safety can run it inside out and I don't give him a false read. The faster I fit it, the faster he can play behind me. But at the end of the day, Scrug is able to make that play at a yard, okay? because you did a good job of fitting it. I see you disengaging. Like I said, we'll be a little quicker on that, make sure that we're solid there. We want no explosives. What happens if an explosive happens here? Does all eight people in here say, dang, gave up that uh, goal? Or do we keep pushing and say, all right, can't be no more. Juice is on you today, bring it. One's up, one's up, one's up. Green ball gets you prepared for fall ball. Fall ball gets you prepared for the season. We want picks, interceptions, so. It's all, all hands on deck. Everybody's ready to rock. My responsibility is to like get the, the younger guys up to speed. Hey, don't just take off. When you open, just go like that. We hit now. This is just like we in the blitz. Don't want to get hit by you. <laughs> take that personal day if somebody does something to you. Don't run that post. Coach, as long as I can do something back, like hit them. Like I can hit them. As long as I can hit them, coach, that's it. As long as I can hit them, they can do what they want. That energy is crazy on that defensive side of the ball. It's, it's just a swarm mentality. Like, in the back end is uh, no flies on. We don't try to let no receivers catch the ball. Hey, I thought I was going to run it. Hey, that's my ribs, bro. But it's time to compete. Y'all got me? Yes, sir. Hey, come on. Let's start down, man. Yes, sir. No. No. Good check. What's up with the red jerseys? They want to switch colors, huh? <laughs> Want to see the Flames for yourself? Buy some season tickets. They are available now, and for as little as $70, that's less than $12 a game, which is equivalent to a caramel macchiato and a slice of lemon loaf there at Starbucks. So jump online and go to lufootball.com or grab your mobile and call 434-582-SEAT with home games against the likes of Army, Louisiana, and Old Dominion. You definitely don't want to miss out on the upcoming season of Liberty Football. Well, one guy who plans to be in the booth for all of those home games is Football analyst Joe Yock, we appreciate him being kind enough to stop by. Well, we know Liberty has so much talent coming back this season, but we want to know who are your top five, top five returners for Liberty this season? Let's start with number five. Coming in at number five, this is tough because there's so much talent yeah. at the wide receiver position. I'm going to go with Demario Douglas. Okay. Demario Douglas, 5'10", 165 pounds of twisted steel and catch appeal. Most athletic wide receiver, outstanding route runner with excellent speed. Great body control and can make difficult catches in tight spots. 41 catches, 499 yards, and four TDs in his first two seasons 
expecting a breakout year from Demario. Yeah, you Douglas. love you some Demario Douglas. All right, we go now to number four. Who do you like? Number four spot. We're coming in with Shedro Lewis. Ah, Shedro boy. Lewis is speed, speed, speed. When you get him the ball, he's so fast. He looks like he's running through hell with gasoline shorts on. <laughs> 61 like line, carries, yeah. 429 yards, 6.3 yards per carry. He's a chalkboard laboratory guy. Let Hugh Freeze and Ken Austin get him the ball multiple ways. Not only does he have the vision to run between the tackles, but is the perfect weapon out of the backfield in the passing game. Can also change the course of the game with his special teams and kick return ability. A very special talent on the roster. Yeah, we saw him have a huge game against Syracuse. Really changed that game. All right, number three. Coming in at the number three spot. We're going on the defense side of the ball with okay. Darrell Johnson. Yeah. Six foot four, 235 pounds. Played safety in JUCO. True. Had a breakout 2020 season. Eight and a half sacks and a constant presence in the backfield. This guy is more than just a guy. He's a dude, and a dude that can get after the quarterback. Unreal athleticism. When it's third and long, he's a left tackle's nightmare with the ability to bend like Gumby in a gunfight. I, that's good. I hadn't heard you. Usually you test these out with me. You did not with that one. That's a new one. All right, number two. Coming like? in at the number two spot, the general, Javon Scruggs. 5'11", 180 pounds, a rare player in the secondary who has the ability to play the run as well as the pass, always steps up in big games. 12 tackles versus Syracuse and a game-changing interception versus Coastal Carolina. Clear leader of the defense. The thing I like most about Dwan Scruggs is his ability to close the gap and tackle in space. He plays the game downhill and is a flat-out slobber knocker. Slobber knocker, as, as are you, Joe Yacht. Finally, <laughs> your number one returning player nope. is, I think. Number one returner, yeah. we're going to go with Austin Mock, long snapper. What? No, no. just kidding. <laughs> we're going to go with Malik. What yeah. you talking about, Mr. Drum? And Willis. Okay. Malik Willis threw for over <laughs> 2,200 yards and 20 TDs while only throwing six interceptions and rushing for over 900 yards and another 14 TDs. Here's what I love the most about Malik Willis. Tell me. He is a win the day kind of guy. With all the attention being focused on the NFL, he is what can I do for Liberty football right now? He's one step away by being able to stand in the pocket, complete those tough passes in critical time from becoming a Sunday afternoon big time player. You heard it here first. Go Yacht. Top five returns for the Flames. It's Yacht Talk. It's Yacht Talk. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> All right, coming up, we introduce you to one of the new faces expected to make plays for the Flames. And Heisman contender Malik Willis might just be a two sport athlete. That and more in Flames Central returns. What are the moments that stick with you? The ones that take your breath away. Sometimes you find them when you least expect them. You just need the opportunities to pursue. At Liberty University, you can earn a world-class degree and alongside, walk away with memories and experiences that will last a lifetime for all your passions and interests. So what is your dream? Liberty University can ignite it, and your outcome will change the world. Since 1971, Liberty University has had one mission, training champions for Christ. We've been at this for a while, and in the shadow of the Blue Ridge Mountains, we have grown to be a global force. Today, Liberty runs over 100,000 students around the globe, studying across 15 colleges and schools. And among that, proudly over 30,000 military students and their families. Across 700 programs of study, we train as one, nurses, artists, business leaders of the future and today. Together, we work to give back through service trips, local community work, and over 500,000 volunteer hours per year. And we play just as hard as we study with 20 NCAA athletic programs and over 40 club sports teams. So who are we? We are Liberty University and we train champions for Christ. Behind every great leader, change maker, and essential worker is a teacher. Though teaching today may mean inspiring students from home, at Liberty University, we've been inspiring students from home for over 30 years. Earn your Bachelor of Education degree 100% online and graduate, prepare for licensure and classroom ready, wherever that classroom may be. So the leaders, change makers, and essential workers of tomorrow can be inspired by you.
Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Flame Central. We're now joined by Emily Austin. And Emily, there are a lot of new faces on this Liberty football team between incoming freshmen and transfers. There's a lot of talent coming into this program, and you had the opportunity to get to know them a little bit better. Yeah, Rhett, we want to introduce you, Flames Nation, to these new players as well. So we're starting a new segment called Take One, where each week you'll meet a new Flame. First up, linebacker Ahmad Walker. My name is Ahmad Walker um, from Warner Robins, Georgia, and I play inside linebacker. My major in exercise science. I plan to continue my football career after here, but um, if that doesn't work, then I plan on coaching. Honestly, you know, just talking to the coaches a lot. Um, you can just feel the genuine love and everything. You know, you just really, they made you really feel like family. And, you know, that just attracted me in. And I'm glad to be here. Just hard-nosed downhill football. Uh, you know, I just like to play physical. I love fishing, bass fishing. And whenever I caught my uh, biggest bass, it was around like nine pounds. Um, it was my first time throwing a chatterbait. And I threw it, I threw it around some sticks. I hooked them. And you know, I just, it was just dead weight. And I was just excited when I got into the bank. I was screaming the whole lake, could hear me. Brett, did you see the size of that bass? Yeah, it was huge. Massive. Yeah. We'll have a lot more of these features in the coming weeks, introducing you to many of the new players that are on campus for the Flames. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to those. But players aren't the only new faces on the program. Flames also added a new safeties coach, Jack Curtis, a longtime defensive coordinator and experienced coach. We caught up with him to find out more about his philosophy. Look it in, look it in. Tuck it away. Protect the ball with your life. I think I'm going into my 30th year of coaching. 21 of those years have been a, I've been a coordinator, nine years as an assistant. Let's get that foot in the ground now, all right? Stick it, T-step, come out of your break. Attack the ball in the air, don't wait on it to catch it. I think the, you know, the biggest thing is being able to develop players. I, I like to recruit someone and develop them, retain them over the years and see them grow. All right, so I'm right here, I'm running, I'm running the crosser. I wanna come in here, whoa, boom, and then back drive, drive out on. I think one of the biggest things that's missing in football now is that uh, getting a player, keeping him there for four or five years, you don't see many teams redshirt players anymore. And I think the development that you can see between a 17 and 22 year old young man is, is it's fun to watch over the years. And a lot of those players I've coached and stayed there that fifth year were drafted in the NFL. I don't know if they would have made it if they hadn't been developed. Hey, you did a good job cutting seven route right there, right? Be careful about the hook. They're mm -hmm. gonna call it on you, okay? Don't hook him, you're good enough at it. Hey, just, when you see the right. seven develop, and if I've lost my leverage, undercut it. You know, I've never seen a, a place that has so much enthusiasm. These kids love to come out here and, and, and practice. Yeah. Don't grab, don't yeah. grab, don't grab. Oh. Although they're out here working, Finish. I don't know if they know they're working because they're having so much fun. Football is supposed to be, you know, it's a game, and it is supposed to be fun. When you, if you dread coming out to practice, I don't know how much better you're getting. Back him up. And uh, I think that's important. Now you're good. I'm just taking charge out here. I like to have fun too, and uh, I try to keep it light with the players, have some fun. But then there's a time when you got to flip a switch. No, you never turn it loose. Your man, once he crosses, all the way across. Lock him all the way across. And they know you're serious and you got to get certain things done. You got to have a certain amount of toughness about you to play defense. Once it's passed, though, you know it's passed. Yeah. He already pulled it and then goes up to the shoulder. That's yes, right. Yes, duck out. Yes, yeah. Good job. Hey, mesh is right, begin with, and then bam, then high on the shoulder. Yes, sir. And so it's a combination of all those things. And you want to make sure you're having fun, make sure they know that, that you care about them, that you want nothing but the best for them, that you're fair. They know you. I got their back in any kind of situation they can come to, so they feel comfortable. When she can get, get in their hearts and they feel that, I think they're going to play at a, uh, a real high level. It's going to you know, help us win some ball games. He loves playing football. I think Jack Curtis will be a great addition for this Flames coaching staff. We have a great addition to the show right now. Liberty Athletics Director Ian McCaw, kind enough to join us. Appreciate you stopping by. You've been around big time athletics for a long time. You helped lead this transition for Liberty football into the FBS era. But even in your mind, did you think this type of success could come this quickly? 
Yeah, Matt, it really didn't. And it would be really unfair to place that kind of expectation right. on the program or on Coach Freeze. We're, we're way ahead of schedule. I mean, to go uh, go 10-1, and one, rank 17th in the country, win a bowl game, uh, really in our second full year as an FBS program, is really uh, beyond imagination, quite honestly. So uh, we're thrilled with the progress and, uh, uh, again, excited about the future as well. You talk about that relationship with Coach Freeze and how important he is. How important is it? for you two to be on the same page and how has that helped expedite the success we've seen? Yeah, it's critical that the AD and the football coach have to be on the same page. I'm very blessed to work with him. He is uh, obviously an outstanding leader for a football program. Love the way he pours into our student athletes on and off the field, really invests in their lives. And uh, he's just a fantastic representative for uh, Liberty University. So it's really a treat to work with him. And uh, we're certainly uh, grateful uh, uh, throughout all of Flames Nation that he's uh, leading our football program. All right, when I'm out and about, I hear from fans all the time, and you probably hear the same question regarding football. So we're independent right now, and fans always say, are we going to stay independent? Are we going to join a conference? What does that look like? It's been very successful so far on this route. The schedule's fantastic going forward. Is this still the right place for Liberty? What might cause that to change? You know, independent football is a great model for us. Um, we're similar to Notre Dame and right. BYU as a faith-based institution. So long-term independent football is very sustainable for us. We can uh, have success. Uh, just Army's another school that's done it very, very well. So uh, that's a, a great pathway for us, Matt. But obviously, we'd have to evaluate if we had a conference opportunity that we felt was uh, more desirable. We'd take a hard look at that and certainly explore it. Well, being independent certainly hasn't held Liberty back to this point, as we've seen with back-to-back -back, you know, bowl games top 25 rankings it's been working out just fine for the flames thus far the last question for you and this is another one i know a lot of fans are asking because you know last season fans didn't really get to enjoy the top 25 season in person that is what can you tell us about fans in william stadium this next season i know we're probably just speculating at this point but how is that trending well, things are certainly trending in a positive direction right now, and, and we're seeing more uh, reopening taking place around the Commonwealth and around the country. So as many other schools are planning for, we're planning for a full stadium yeah. in the fall. Uh, no guarantees that will be the case, but uh, I think we'll certainly be much closer to that type of environment than what we faced this year. As we say, we're in the golden era of Liberty Athletics, the golden era of Liberty football. Ian McCaw is leading the way in that regard. Appreciate you stopping by. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Well, the future is incredibly bright for Liberty football, and if you want to be a part of it, you need to join the Flames Club. By joining, you can get exclusive season ticket options, a pregame tailgate before every Liberty football home game, and so much more. Help support Flames athletes and fuel future success by joining the Flames Club. You can find more information by visiting libertyflames.com slash flamesclub. Well, still to come, we know he's electrifying on the gridiron, but how will Malik Willis fare on the links? Emily Austin joins us once again for that story when Flame Central returns. Welcome back to Flame Central. We conclude our football focus show on the driving range with quarterback Malik Willis. Yeah, we all know how athletic Malik is, but golf is a completely different yeah. game. Ooh, yeah, golf is one of those sports that regardless how long you've played, it can humble you very quickly. But like Malik says, it's all about consistency. Take a look. Malik, when did you start playing? January. January of 2021? Yes. 
Malik, what's your favorite club? One that hits. I mean, <laughs> if it hits, I, I really like it. We're just striving for consistency at this point. And that is inconsistency. <laughs> See the home run and strikeout out here. Who has put you up to this, Coach Freeze? No, just trying to, you know, try some new things, get better at some stuff. <laughs> well, you went wrong there. You didn't keep your eye on the ball. I didn't hit the ball. <laughs> exactly. What intrigues you most about golf? It's really the little thing, it is. It reminds me of football a little bit. You gotta know what clubs to use. It's just like you gotta know what type of throw you need to throw how much touch to put on it. Like, you don't have to kill the ball every time, just like you don't have to throw it your hardest every time. Why am I so strong and I'm beating up the earth? Sorry, Mother Nature. Not a lot of guys can do this, but for girls, you just, like, keep your tees up in your hair. Nope, nope, nope. Don't put that in your hair? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good shot for you. Have you had some time to reflect on last season? No, I haven't really thought about last season, to be honest. Trying to think about right now and what we're about to try to do. Thinking about practice, I'm really excited. That's why I'm coming out right now, because it's gonna go like, it's gonna go real quiet. Zero dark 30. We gotta go to work. One area of your game in football, we don't have enough time to discuss the golf game improvements, that you want to improve on the most in 2021. Everything. I knew you were going to say that. I do, though. I mean, I got a lot to work on. I just want to continue to grow, continue to get better. Wow. Oh, dang, that one's gone. Consistency. Consistency. That's hard to do, I ain't going to lie. It's real hard. Go ahead, then, Adam Sandler. Hi, I'm a hockey player, but I'm here to play golf. <sighs> I give up. Oh, I think that's the, like, Shortest distance the ball ever went. I don't have enough Gilmore in me. I got a lot of happy. Multi-sport? Do we need to call the men's golf team at Liberty? <laughs> no. <laughs> can I get this film, actually, so I can get, like, get better? That was it. It's not how you start. It's about how you finish. <laughs> I think you could take Malik on the course. I honestly do. That's wow. the nicest thing I've ever said to her. Thank you. Hey, we want to remind you, Liberty Athletics has launched a brand new app. You can keep up with all things Flames, find tickets, check scores. If you follow Liberty Athletics, you need to download this app. Get it today and be the envy of all your friends. But, Red, that's not the only place folks can find us. That's true. LibertyFlamesCentral.com. All our stories are there for you to enjoy. That's right. For Red, for Emily, I'm Matt. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're as excited about the Flames football season as we are. We'll have much more for you coming back next week. We hope you'll join us.